welcome people welcome or welcome back to my channel it's alexis takara thank you for clicking on today's video if you're a returning subscriber or returning viewer thank you for being a real one and clicking on my video and if you're new here hey i know anytime i'm super excited i got a goodie bag okay i went to ulta today right so i picked up some things two things i picked up two things and i made a tiktok on this already so I've already done a like semi review on this for TikTok and I also posted it on my shorts here on YouTube too if you want to just go check it out. But I'm going to just do a more in-depth type of review on this today. This is the Tula Radiant Skin Brightening Serum Skin Tint Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I have mine in the shade 2110 Neutral. And it says balanced skincare. So it's cruelty free, it's vegan, it's clean, you know. And it was $40. So the first time I wore it, I think I was using it wrong because I wasn't really, I didn't know how to take care of my skin the first time I tried it. But this time that I figured out the motion for my skin, I feel like I'll be able to make this work. And I got to go to work today. So yeah, this is like the perfect time to actually try this out. <laughs> and I also picked up the e.l.f hydrating core lip shine i already tried this on i thought it was more of like a orangey like corally shade but it's actually like kind of pinkish mauvey i didn't like it but maybe if i add like a lip liner or something with it i might so i'm gonna try this again i wiped it off already but i'm gonna try it again so yeah these are the two products that i picked up today from ulta and let's just go ahead and jump right in skincare of course is already done y'all already know how i do okay y'all don't pay attention to my nails okay like they look horrible this is why i don't like do nothing to my nails like i'm just so rough this type of stuff just don't work for me <laughs> i'm just going to put a little bit there this stuff is so thick you would think that because it's supposed to be like a tinted moisturizer or something that it would be kind of like lightweight but this stuff is thick so let's just see the first time i wore this i had the shade 19 and it was described as a warm shade but um i decided that i wanted to get something you know a different shade this time so yeah we went with this one I do like this shade better than the tan 19 that I tried the first time. Like, it was pretty, don't get me wrong, but it was just like golden. It was like real golden. I'm gonna apply just a little bit more just to see how it builds up. Look at this radiance though. Y'all seeing this? Let me bring you in. Look at the center of my forehead. Like, look at how radiant the center of my forehead is. Let's finish this face, shall we? My new baby. Taking my new boo. My new baby. <laughs> And the thing about concealer is, what I learned the hard way about concealer, 
the closer you put it to your under eye, the more visible the creases are when the um, when the concealer starts to crease. So instead of me putting it directly under uh, under my eye, I kind of place it a little bit further down, and you know, in different areas as y'all saw. Because like I said, the closer it is to the waterline, the more visible the creasing is. So you really just want it to look like it's waking you up in certain areas. And you really just want to apply concealer where you need it. Like some people I know do the whole triangle thing still. And I'll be like, you still do that? <laughs> I mean, to each his own, like no judgment being passed. But I just be like, oh my gosh, like I can't believe some people are still doing it applying all that freaking concealer and it's like the more concealer you apply the more setting powder you apply and it's like a lot of people don't realize that setting powder it kind of ages you and it makes you look more like dehydrated and dry and we don't do dry okay we do not do dry okay taking my holy grail my Tower 28 blush in the shade Golden Hour. Y'all know, like, this is just, like, the perfect, the perfect blush. It's just perfect. Okay, taking my favorite setting powder, which is Kosas. Y'all know the deal. Tower 28 Mascara. Okay, so now for this lip, I want to give this lip balm just another shot. So what I'm going to do is apply some lip liner, and this is in the shade Club Popper, and let's see if I end up liking it. And this is in the shade do, 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 do. Lovely Ravisant. Ravisant. I don't know how to pronounce that. It looked like Ravisant, so I'm going to say Ravisant. And this is how it looks. Got a little heart in the middle. I feel like the lip liner kind of took away from the naturalness that the uh, lip balm is supposed to give. It is just a lip balm, but I didn't like it on its own, so I just wanted to see how it would look if I paired it up with something else. But it kind of looked like the lippy that I had in my last video when I had the Essence and the shade Brave with this lip liner. That's what it looked like to me. Okay, I don't know if I like my lip. I might change this to like a, a, a red lippy, but what y'all think? I think it's cute. I think the skin tint is giving. <laughs> but y'all let me know what y'all think down below because I really do value y'all opinions. So let me know what y'all think. I like it and I feel like it's just so skin like. Looks like skin and it's radiant it gives me like this nice little glow and i'm not wearing highlighter at all but as y'all can see like it, it gives me like enough radiance to where i can kind of fake a highlight so that's pretty cool and overall though i think i like this so y'all let me know if y'all ever tried this skin tint let me know if you want to try this skin tint what shade are you are we shade twins y'all let me know talk to me down in the comments i hope y'all enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up 
and I'll catch y'all in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe. All right, I'll see y'all in my next one. Later.